Hi, I'm going to talk about some questions and the answers. Maybe it's the tricks, it's tips. It's overall of the ERB as the Oracle Financial Modules. So I don't know what is the name of this topic, so let's start. I will answer question like, first question here, how to enter duplicate tax registration for the suppliers? How to enter duplicate means maybe you have two suppliers have the same TRN number or tax registration number. In order to allow that, you have to ensure that allow duplicate registration number checkbox enabled and tax regime and also set duplicate validation level as no validation under manage tax. So if I log in to Oracle, Just navigate to the setup and maintenance. And you write manage tax. For here, manage tax, you can select again manage tax, select your country. Enter, select your tax, go to down, you can here allow duplicate registration number, duplicate validation level no. So in this case, you will be able to register to TRN number for two different suppliers. But in this case, you have to make these registrations through the registration details in manage third-party registration type. What I mean, you can go to supplier UI as a user interface and update the registration number, but when you assign the TRN number at supplier UI, input value directly stored in ZX registration table. Hence, whenever you enter duplicate VAT, then this table will not let you store the same value. What does it mean? If you enable this checkbox and there is no validation of the duplicate TRN number, you have to enter the same TRN number through manage tax registration, not through the supplier user interface. Again, from here, you can navigate to the manage tax registration from the set of and maintenance. This one, search for the third party profile. You can enable here third party tax profile. You can er enter the party name. You can plus advanced for example A. Any one of these, search here. This is the party name, tax registrations. You can enter the tax registration as a party name, tax registration code, and tax type and status, status and registered. Is it reason or not? and issuing tax authority and registration number. This will allow you to make a duplicate because this is the way to enter a duplicate tax registration for two different suppliers. But if you navigate from procurement, from here, if I navigate to the procurement and enter, navigate to the suppliers. Search by anyone. For example, this one. You will find tax registration. 
from here and the text registrations from this point you will not allow to make a duplicate TRA number so this is the first question how to enable it and from where it will working fine from supplier user interface or from manage tax registration from the tax second question here is masking of bank account details like bank account number how you make the masking or for example display last digit display all digits mask all digits all of these just again from setup and maintenance Just search by manage system. Security options. This one. You will find a lot of tasks. You will find here bank account number as a masking. If you're editing the masking, it will give you which option you are going to apply. Are you going to apply display all digits, display the first digit, display last digit, mask all digit? This is the list of the option here. You can select whatever you want. What's the third question here? How to allow zero payment and allow prepayment date? Allow zero payment in case of you are going to close two invoices, one as a standard, one as a credit memo. The net off of these two transactions is zero, so you can make payment as a zero to close these two invoices. For the supplier agent, for the report purposes, so just navigate to the manage bank account. I will cancel none. Manage bank account. Go to here and search by the bank if you have the name number legal entity just click and edit go to down in control down there allow zero payment so this is how to allow zero payment for the other options of how to allow prepayment date Allow prepayment date if the system date today is 26 February and do you need to allow the users to make payment in date like yesterday, like any previous date? Just again go to setup and maintenance, done, and manage. payment options here allow payment date before the system date this allow pre-date payment from manage payment options cancel also you have to select the scope if you have a lot of business unit just click on it select whatever you need apply and then go to task and make the changed. What the next is how to upload AB invoices spreadsheet as a one invoice with multiple lines. This question like if I have one invoice, for example, in Excel sheet, I have one invoice for ABC. This invoice has one header as invoice number date amount description then go to lines one two like this so i have only one header and a lot of lines from one to million so how to achieve that through excel invoice ap invoice spreadsheet 
Just download the spreadsheet. Navigate to the payable invoices. Navigate to the invoices. Again, click create invoice from a spreadsheet. Before that, as you know, that if VDI, you have to set up the from the tools. There is one download desktop integration in installer you have to download it then you can download the excel sheet once you download it i just make unblock like this and open it it will ask me to make a connect okay and i just re-enter my username and the password After that, you have this is up to you to unhide all of the columns or continue on the default column. Just click here, right click and unhide. You will find here a lot of data. So in this case, if I have one invoice, just enter the business unit, invoice number. What is the invoice currency? What is the invoice amount? Invoice date, month, day, year. Sorry. Yes. What is the supplier? Select the supplier, etc. And go, 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 go. You will find the lines. The lines is as I told you one, two, until 100. This is up to you and continue the line review line information like amount unit price description distribution combination tax is it what is the tax classification code and if you have any more additional information like descriptive flex field you will find it it for example i have supplier i don't know i have it here or in productions but in production, I have a lot of descriptive flex field. So once you fill or the business users fill these 80 or 100 or 300 lines, this one, until 60, 46. So I can come back to here and make all of this as a one. Till the end of the lines that means that I am tell the system that I have only one invoice with one data and for this invoice I have until the header it's class this is gray is until the header after the lines I have for example here 40 six so through these options i just tell the system that i have one invoice with 46 lines again if you have another one you can make it two or 47 and continue and also two to two if you have a different lines but if you have a lot of invoices as a one line has no need to do this practice after you finish again create and submit and check your invoice this is how to enter one invoice with multiple lines through ab spreadsheet what's the next one how to restrict access to all the bank accounts of cash management module or cash manager rule you can secure the bank account so that it can only be used by certain users and rules. The default value for secure bank account by users and rules is no. For payables and receivables, you must have the proper business unit assigned to access a bank account even if the secure bank account by users and rules is no. If the secure bank account by users and rules is set to US, 
you must be named or carry a role assigned to the bank account to use it. There is one security tab on the bank account. This security tab may be by user or rules and by business unit. For the business unit, security only for AB and the AR users. Users need to use the business unit access tab on the setup. You can also create a custom rule and assign this custom rule to users. Let's navigate to the Oracle. I can go to setup and maintenance, manage bank account. Just click on search again by legal entity search. Select any of these banks, edit. Here you will find the security, security and the business unit access. As I told you for business unit, this security for EB and they are users. So users need to use the business unit access tab on this setup. So here I assigned one only business unit, EP, AR users. Another security here by either user and rules. User and rules. You can add whatever you want, either your user or rule, and assign it to here. So you have to option two options for the users. If you have 100 users you can come here and select add and add the users enter the name search and sign but in case of here i have 1000 users 2000 users shall i assign one by one here it's too difficult and head for me so what is the other case just create a custom rule for example here this is for am so i will create am banks for example here bank account access as a rule through tools and security console and create a custom rule once you create a custom rule come here and assign this rule to here after you secure by bank account by user and rules checkbox this assign the rule here once you assign the rule here in this case you can go to the these rules and assign the 1000 users to this U rule one time so instead of to us add the 1000 employee or users here one by one no go to security and security console go to rules define a new rules any rules am banks uh, usa banks uh, india banks whatever you want and come here and assign this rule through security whatever the users you want to give him access to this bank just assign this rule for the business unit just for er and ab business users business unit users so this is the security by bank also this access may be reflected during make a bank transfer if you have access to this bank account during bank transfer it must also you have access to all of the banks because in bank transfer you can make make a bank transfer between two banks in the same legal entity two banks in different legal entity and so on so this is how to secure bank account what's the next one how to default or enter invoicing business rules business units this is options to increase op operational productivity with time saving tips and the best practice to create payable invoice in the payable invoice you have two options matched invoice and unmatched invoices for matched invoices business units default from purchase order the invoice header identifying purchase order is a useful attribute and helps in defaulting the business unit, supplier, supplier side, and other invoice attributes. But business units for unmatched invoices are automatically determined based on default business unit profile option. This significantly enhances the entry experience 
and save effort to search and specify business unit for each unmatched invoice. You can override the default business unit by performing a simple, simple action for the cases requiring a different business units. So, from where you can do this as a default, this is profile option, default business unit profile options, from setup and maintenance, search, manage administrator profile values, and I will let you know, again, I will cancel setup and maintenance, done, manage administrator profile values. I can go to global search here, manage administrator profile values, again, you can here search by category or search by the name, I can include here default org id. This is case sensitive, so you have to make default org ID again. Search default. Again, default org ID, search, it is here, this is a profile option as a default org ID, the display name is profile default business unit, you can come here, select the profile level, profile level like user only and what is the username select the username from, from list of values and assign the business unit to the users so the default org id from manage administrator profile values you can assign the business unit as a default to the users another option here from the tasks of your username go to set preferences or you will find just cancel done and I will again select preferences there is one GL region preferences you can assign business unit you can assign that access set you can also make one ledger for Counting dashboard. This is another option. You can also make a default journal categories, adjustment, AB accounting, manual, spreadsheet, blah blah blah. So this is how to assign the default business unit. What is the next? Is it possible to delete bank statement lines from imported bank statement? User cannot delete bank statement lines from imported bank statement. It is mandatory to delete entire imported bank statement and re-import the corrected bank file. If delete button is grayed out, the bank statement are imported using bank statement file contain opening balance, closing balance, and the statement lines. The control balance and the totals are checked to maintain the sensitivity of the file. If the statement lines are deleted, then the receipt payment totals will mismatch causing audit issue. So the statement lines are not allowed to be deleted. 
Is it possible to delete or archive a bank statement within Fusion Cash Management? The standard functionality within Fusion Cash Management for deleting bank statement is allow deletion of statement which doesn't contain any reconciled lines. For example, if you import a statement without any statement lines or statement to contains statement lines but which have not been reconciled, then it's possible to delete this type of statements. If the bank statement has been reconciled, you have to unreconcile the lines, then delete. Regarding the archiving, Fusion Cache Management doesn't contain an archiving program. User can expect it to use the database archive functionality to archive bank statements. How to set up intercompany balancing rule for bank account transfers? This is through intercompany balancing rules. You will define the rules between two different legal entities, from legal entity X to legal entity Y, and put the payable account, receivable accounts, and choose the categories as a fund transfer and the cash management. This is for the legal, from for example, from legal entity one to legal entity two, and the same practice to make a setup between from legal entity two to legal entity one, both the payable accounts, receivable accounts and they choose the category as a fund transfer to allow you to make an intercompany balancing rule for a bank account transfer. Before we go to the next question, I just need to tell you something else. If you allow the approval for the EB invoice, how to check the EB invoice status? If the user asks you this is not sent to the next approval, this is not approved, this is uh, my supervisor or manager cannot see this invoice, just go to these three tasks, go to tools, there is one transaction console. Through this transaction console, you can check the status of the BR, PO, AB invoices status of approval. Just click on it. And here you will find all of the status, what is completed, you will find all of the completed, either requisition, either whatever, what is draft, what is failed, we have status field, you can check the error here, is it possible or not, or just click on name, or again, refresh the wheel, if I click here, you will find the issue descriptions, cancel, and you have whatever is in progress, whatever is sent successfully and awaiting some actions from the approval, what is stuck, what is submitted. This is how to check the status of the either AB or PR or P approval from transaction console from the tools here. So what else? What is the next question? How to restrict GL team from opening or closing subledger periods from period close page or GL? General accounting manager has a privilege manage general ledger accounting period status. Through which periods can be opened and closed, this applies to all subledger and GL period status. But for general accounted or financial analysts have the privilege of review general ledger accounting period status, which gives read only access to period close screen. So assigned to user is a general accounting rule, is a financial analyst rule, the latter having read only privilege to all screens. So in to assign general accounting manager, you have two other rules, either general accounted or financial analyst. This is like a review or read only access. As you see here, general accounting manager has a privilege as a manager, general accounting period status, general accounted or financial analyst review only, and 
you can assign either general account rule or financial analyst. What's the last question? How do you set up the system to have the default depreciation expense GL accounts from asset category upload to spreadsheet? Sorry for that. Spreadsheet doesn't have the validation to pull the expense account details to the spreadsheet. So you have to put it manually during upload the assets. Again, like these questions, or like these functionalities, or like these options, maybe not available today, but maybe available by next quarter. As you know now, currently in Oracle Vision, there are upgrades every quarter. As a new feature added, uh, some of enhancement requests has been updated or implemented, some of issues or data fix applied to resolve specific issues so today is not applicable maybe tomorrow is applicable maybe today you can set up it through UI as a user interface tomorrow you have to implement it through spreadsheets through FBDI like these cases this is the end of like these questions Thanks for watching.